Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Today's tip is on a very small thing in Illustrator that usually gets overlooked. I recently found it and it is a time saver for me. So if you know anything about Illustrator, uh, you know all sorts of stuff like this right now is the, all the rage. Uh, there's lots of badges and trends and stuff like this with that sort of hipster look. Um, this is all just free stuff off of Vecteezy or Shutterstock, but I'm sure we've all seen these types of designs. Uh, but that being said, when you go to make a shape like this, there's many different ways to go about it. I personally always would make rectangles or squares. Um, and I found myself frequently doing stuff where like I would draw a line um, and then center them, divide them, and then recombine them again in order to get points here on the edge that I can pull out. Because uh, a lot of times with badges, you have these weird symmetrical shapes uh, with things like this. Or I know I've made this one tons of times where you have, I would do two bars and combine them together and then try to punch in that edge just to make one of those little uh, banners that frequently have writing on it for things like this. Um, but a small little feature of Illustrator that I found that I never knew was there is if you have any shape at all and it has a bounding box so you know when you click on it it gives you these sort of anchor points for whatever you're doing um, you can go to the object path menu and actually just pick add anchor points and when you do that it'll drop in vector point data anywhere that there was an anchor um, and that really just it really expands the possibilities of what you can do with shapes because you don't have to worry about dividing them or cutting them or doing anything weird with them uh, in such a way with either the Pathfinder or something if you're just not set to do that. This really just takes the functionality that Illustrator already has built into it uh, and gives you the ability to like add in anchor points halfway on each part of a circle um, or all the way around a square. Any any shape you have, it will do that sort of thing with it. Um, and it's really just a time saver for me, uh, so I don't have to be combining and dividing boxes and things in order to set out to make shapes like this. Uh, you can really just draw a rectangle and go from there, or draw a circle and go from there. Uh, and it lets you do all of these types of unique badges and shapes and flags very quickly without having to use the Pathfinder or Math or the Transform tool or anything. So that's the tip. If you found it helpful, please let me know Let me know by hitting the like button. If you want more of these types of tutorials, feel free to subscribe or hit the little bell icon to stay notified. As always, if you have questions or topics you'd like me to cover, just let me know in the comments. See you next time.